Thank you very much. Thank you for the Religion Communicators for providing this award simply because not very many local television stations talk about faith. Not very many local television stations allow faith to enter into their news stories. As a reporter, it's not very often that in the course of a year that you come across a story that you encounter two people that grab your heart. And that's what this couple did for us. Speaking for Dave and for, for Brian, they reached out to us by saying, we need help. Fortunately, we found a church in the community that was willing to provide help for this couple. Fortunately, at WATE, they allowed us to include sound bites that said, this is the Lord's work. This is what God wants us to do. This is what a community is supposed to do, help other people. And that's what they allowed us to say. And over the course of five months after the initial story, it grabbed the people of East Tennessee. Television is on the internet now. It's all over our websites, Facebook. And we put this on Facebook and people just wanted to help Jake and Evelyn. And they did. And on December 17th, they moved into the house and you saw that. 11 days ago, Jake died. He died of prostate cancer. Fortunately, in the middle of, of March, uh, Glenn and I were able to, to go up and see Jake in, in hospice care in Morristown. And Evelyn now is in a nursing home. Um, the property is still there. Uh, Evelyn hopes to go back to the property. But it was a story that grabbed the people in our community. I'm so glad that WATE allowed us to do this type of story, and I hope others do these types of stories. And through the Wilbur Awards, through the Religion Communicators, more people will on the local level. Thank you very much.